A UX roadmap is a strategic living artifact that aligns, prioritizes, and communicates a UX team's future work and problems to solve. Now, before we create your UX roadmap, let's consider what makes for an effective one. Number one, UX roadmaps are user focused, not feature focused. Roadmaps are not meant to track the execution of features across releases, but rather communicate a vision. It maps high level initiatives instead. Number two, UX roadmaps are based on user research. The problems plugged into a UX roadmap should be derived from a mix of qualitative and quantitative research. Number three, UX roadmaps are collaborative and living. Just as wireframes are prototypes for future websites and service blueprints are prototypes for future processes, a roadmap is a prototype for strategy over time. Now, in my prior video, I shared a list of other types of roadmaps. UX roadmaps are not, however, to be confused with them. A UX roadmap is not a customer journey map. Customer journey maps are used to understand a user's journey as they interact across time with your brand. As such, the journey map is structured along the timeline of a customer from awareness to consideration to advocacy, hopefully. While such a map is important to know, these phases don't help you prioritize the when of addressing a problem to solve. For that, we turn to a UX roadmap's helpful prioritization structure of now, next, and future. More on that later. Also, a UX roadmap is not a release plan. UX roadmaps are strategic, vision-oriented documents. They deal with what should we solve and why. Release plans discuss what features will be delivered in upcoming releases. They deal with the how will we solve it. Now, that's a question best addressed by your operational team. Finally, UX roadmaps are not product backlogs. Think of a backlog as a product development team's master to-do list. Again, backlogs mostly focus on the technical how and are less likely to consider customer or user facing concerns. Rather, UX roadmaps can help inform the prioritization of the problems that your product team will address in their backlog. Now, ultimately, UX roadmaps make realistic promises, value functionality over pretty visuals, and are strategic documents instead of feature-specific release plans. And they have three primary benefits. Number one, UX roadmaps align and prioritize work. Instead of creating a list of features, a, a UX roadmap reveals the patterns of problems that your users report having with your product or service. Most importantly, it aligns solving these problems with your desired business outcomes. Also, UX roadmaps create common ground. A, a UX roadmap helps surface any misunderstandings and it challenges assumptions early on in the process. This provides you the opportunity to get everyone on the same page, talking the same language. Finally, UX roadmaps build buy-in across your team by collaboratively prioritizing activities as a team before the actual work begins, team members are more likely to buy in and support your high level strategy and priorities. Now, in the next video, we'll start identifying the problems to solve that will drive your desired business outcomes.